So I am back with the latest surrounding the game with new info on the process many people are taking in returning or refunding the game due to it not being as expected. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk be sure to subscribe. So Cyberpunk 2077 is a game I'm personally enjoying. I know many of you guys watching this are also but there are a certain few people out there guys that ain't. And no matter what you think about this game, if you think it's the best game ever, it doesn't matter as there are still people out there who can't even play it properly due to system capability paired with bugs, glitches and much much more. Now we can sit here and argue all day with people on the fact that they are playing it on last gen hardware. What do they expect from a game made for next gen? No ifs, no buts people. If they have paid £50 or $60 for the game, then it should work. Otherwise, it shouldn't have been released on their consoles, and I think we can all agree on that. Now, I'm personally on the Xbox Series X, I know many folks are also playing on the PS5 and PC, and the game's actually very decent. Yes, it's buggy, yes, it's glitchy, yes, it feels unfinished to an extent, but it's still, in my opinion, a great, great game that offers much of what other RPGs wish to achieve and rounds them all up into one. This is a massive open world RPG with thousands of different individual elements that change the way you play the game and the way the game plays out. It's what most of us expected it to be, while we have others hating on the game as they expected it to be more like GTA. Some folk I'm certain believe it was just going to be a character creation simulator. The game in my opinion is what I expected, with the added addition of bugs, some bigger than others, but the game is nowhere near as bad as what I'm seeing most people are making out. I think nowadays negativity gets more clicks and when it starts many jump on that bandwagon and follow suit, and I'm seeing hate from people who really did expect this to be another GTA style game. Most of the hate the game is getting isn't due to bugs or old gen hardware either. I've actually seen many people enjoying the experiences on old gen too, but I get it, expectations were not met, and if that's the case and the game also doesn't work as intended for you, you are entitled to a refund, I 100% agree with that. And we saw CDPR drop a statement which I've already covered where they apologise basically for this game and how it performs on older gen, as well as promising patches to come within the new year to help with people struggling. They also mentioned about refunds going through your dedicated platform provider i.e. Microsoft and Sony or if you bought it from a retailer, going back to said retailer. Now reports last night were flowing in where many people had jumped onto social media to let off steam stating things like Sony are refusing refunds and are telling people to wait for patches. This in my opinion is totally wrong. Not wrong as in it didn't happen, it's wrong on Sony's behalf. Yes I do believe it falls upon CDPR's shoulders to make sure the game is fine to release on all platforms, there is no excuse there, but I do also believe it's truly unfair for Sony to tell gamers to wait for patches as a few reports said. Although it does seem many people had much more luck with refunds from Microsoft, at the end of the day they are making profit out of selling games developers put on their platforms. So a bit of the blame has to be accepted by these mega corps. At the end of the day people, they sold the game to you if you brought it digitally. It's down to them to refund you and then take it up with CDPR. Sony on the other hand seems to for the most part just to be telling people to wait for further info or a patch, which is wrong. And yes CDPR have stated that if you can't get a refund from the place you purchased the game you can email them directly. And even they've stated people that if you're trying to chase down a refund from Sony, don't go down that option and contact CDPR instead, which is weird. And although I don't know what's going on here, I know it isn't right. The email if you don't know what it is you can see on screen now, so if you are having any kind of issues, go through CDPR's email directly, especially if you're on PlayStation. The fact you paid and are unhappy with your purchase, for good reason, should be more than enough to get yourself a refund for sure guys. Now like I've said, I'm really enjoying this game, although bugs are apparent, I just don't think it's anywhere near as bad as people are trying to make it out. Now what I'm going to do is, which may make a funny video, I'm going to bring down my old Xbox One and I'm going to install this game on it and see how it plays. Should be fun, at least then I can form an opinion on the game on last gen. So maybe guys stay tuned for that video. But yeah people, the latest on the news coming out of the world of cyberpunk. And well if you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps me out. Tell me your thoughts on this whole situation down below. Are you yourself having problems with either Microsoft or Sony? Let me know. 
And guys, the end of the video has arrived. I hope you enjoyed it. I really do. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.